from sharing, I'm going to go back to security and look at the firewall. Now, do you remember when I asked you to remember that dialogue that I had asking me if I would allow incoming connections? And I said we're going to look at it again. Well, here it is. I was asked if I wanted to let the printing software access my computer. And I said that was setting up firewall. And here it is. Here is that application. And I wanted to deny them access to my computer. So I said block incoming connections. The consequence of my clicking deny on that dialog was that I turned the firewall on so that connections from that application would be denied. Now, what I've turned on are file sharing, web sharing, and screen sharing. And as applications start up, I may be presented with that dialog that you saw that say, will I allow or deny access from them? And the consequence of that is that each application is stored here with my response to it. Now, before I screw things up, I'm going to take that one out because I don't want printer sharing turned on. Now, what is all this about? What a firewall does is it protects you or it controls access from outside of your computer over a network into your computer. The assumption is that what happens that goes out is what you are controlling, things you are doing. You don't care about that. You should know what's going on. But what you do care about is someone over the network trying to gain access to your computer for a purpose that you do not permit. I have permitted access to my computer from outside the computer for protocol, file sharing using the Apple file sharing protocol or the standard FTP internet. So another computer on the network can gain access to my computer for these purposes, provided they have a password. The web sharing also, they may come in from outside my computer to access web sharing. For other purposes, it's either denied or, for example, here's MySQL over my local area network. Another computer can come in and use the MySQL database if they have a password because I allow incoming connections from MySQL. So the purpose of the firewall is to control what comes into your computer, and it's done if you allow all incoming connections, then you've turned the firewall off. You can allow only essential services, or you can use this option where it's done on a service by service and application by application basis. And you control this by the simplest way is that dialog that you saw before in the sharing preference where I was asked if I would allow. But you can also come here and select an individual application on your computer. And I will, as soon as the window opens up, I will select an application. And I'll show you that I can then add specifically, let's come into applications, pick address book, add it, and I can choose to allow or block incoming communications from it. And I'll take that off as well. The last piece of the firewall you should know about is stealth mode. Even if the firewall is turned on, you're not going to allow access. It is possible over the network for another device or a program to poke around and see if your computer exists. With stealth mode, it doesn't respond saying access denied. It just doesn't respond at all. So no one from the outside can see whether your computer exists. Do you need a firewall turned on? Well, it depends. You have to look at your configuration. If you are connected to the internet, you must be protected by a firewall. It's just too dangerous not to have a firewall. Now, where does that firewall have to be? It could be at your router. It could be at the internet connection. It could be anywhere on the network. You want a firewall basically that you control somewhere between your computer and the wild world of the internet. A firewall at your internet service provider is probably not sufficient, but if you are in a business or a network like a school network, their internet connection is probably protected by a firewall and you may not need a firewall within it as long as you trust the other people on the network. If you don't trust the other people on the network, then you need to turn on the firewall yourself. So you can allow all incoming connections if you're certain that anyone who has access to your computer over the network can be trusted and you're protected by an upstream firewall. If you are using a portable computer that will be accessing the internet wirelessly or accessing any network services wirelessly in a public space, you must turn your firewall on. If not, it, it's just an invitation to trouble. 
So the firewall, the functionality hasn't changed in the new software, but the way in which the firewall presents itself in a user interface in sharing and the firewall pane of security preferences has changed in Mac OS X Leopard.